Okay, so as you can tell, it's winter out where I live, but uh, that's not gonna that's not gonna stop us from doing some airsoft reviews. I have CYMA uh, C CMO 41, and we're going to be doing a range test. Uh, this is the target, the zombie target from uh, Walmart. Uh, so yeah, this is from about 70, 75 feet, and then I have another one at 80, and another one at 100. So that did pretty good, I think. I could hear it nailing the paper from back there. Uh, I was just aiming, I wasn't really aiming for the head or anything, I was just aiming for the target in general. But I got a decent group there. Uh, I think I got two random ones over here. I got like one, two, three in the face, and then there's a couple up here. Obviously, I started with uh, semi and then I went to full auto. Uh, that was at 75 feet, and that's pretty accurate. That was me, uh, for the first little bit, I actually wasn't even looking down the sights. Uh, then I started looking down the sights, and it was a little bit more accurate. Uh, uh, now we're going to go over to the 80-foot target. Give me a second here. i got to move my stand over there, too. So if you fall over, it, you're probably going to have to sit, sit down for a second. Sorry for the inconvenience. I need a new camera. This one's a pain in the ass to try to use. Stop, kitty. So now I'm, I'm going to start with semi and then switch to full just like I did last time. So, it looks like we're still shooting pretty accurate. Uh, I'm not sure if you had the best view of that target, uh, but I got a lot of face shots, a couple chest shots. There were two down here, kind of strayed. Uh, two up in the, the hat, of whatever this is, Joker, I think. And then another one right there. So now, we're going to switch over to the... For the 100 foot target, got to move the camera again. This one I think is the coolest zombie target. It's a uh, uh, bride and the groom. 
cold out here. Uh, again, this is 100 feet, semi-auto first, and then full auto. Still shooting pretty accurate, even at 100, 100 feet. Um, full auto seemed to be a little bit more accurate. Got a couple strays over here, one there. Then when I pushed to full auto, I got a couple right here, very small group. Got one right in the chest. I think I got the wife in the face a couple times. Uh, but all in all, definitely a great gun. Uh, very accurate, especially for an MP5. Uh, this is, if you watch my review, this is a outdoor weapon. Uh, it's shooting 400 FPS, so uh, like CQB, you're not really going to be able to use this unless you're uh, switching out the motor or using a really heavy BB, uh, like a 25 or maybe even a 30. But uh, yeah. Uh, I would rate this, I'd give this gun a 9, probably 9.5 out of 10. It's awesome. Uh, it's really heavy, full up receiver metal. Um, something I forgot to mention in the review though. Uh, metal, there's the um, uh, selector switch, ambidextrous. Uh, but, yeah, great, great gun. I like this more than I like my M4. Um, I'm just, I, I'm a really big fan of the MP5. It's actually like my, my favorite gun. But, uh, yeah. I hope this, uh, helped you guys. So just rate, comment, and subscribe.